The sensory system, a set of organs and tissues used for detecting a stimulus, consists of sensory cells, the associated structures, and the neural networks that process the information, according to our textbook. Echolocation is the use of sound waves and echoes to determine where objects are in space. Bats use echolocation to navigate and find food in the dark. To do this, bats send out sound waves from their mouth or nose. When the sound waves hit an object, they produce echoes. The echo then bounces off the object and returns to the bat's ears. The stimuli of the sound will travel to the nerves, then to the brain, where it is analyzed and interpreted, and then the message goes to the muscles telling the bat where to go. And this process is called integration. In this demonstration, the bat, Simon, will clap twice to represent the sending of the echo. The mosquito, who is Grace, will respond with two claps to represent the echo returning to the bat. By hearing the response, Simon, or the bat, will be able to determine where the object is, how big it is, and its shape. This adaptation comes in handy because it gives them the ability to easily hunt at night. This same type of feature goes the same with dolphins. In and with echolocation, bottlenose dolphins are able to learn and later recognize the echo signatures returned by preferred prey species. Bottlenose dolphins produce directional clicks in sequence. The sound waves travel through water at a speed of about 1.5 kilometers per second, which is four and a half times faster than sound traveling through air. They can also tell how many fish there are and will go towards the area with the most fish. Sharks. The notorious man-eating machine from Jaws use their sensory organs to locate their prey. Sharks have the same five senses humans do, in addition to a sixth sense, electroreception. Let's start with the sense of smell, though. With a sense of smell much more powerful than a person's, a shark can detect substances and chemicals dissolved in the water. These chemical responses are sent to the shark and tell the shark where its prey is. Shark vision is similar to many vertebrae, except much better adapted for long distances. Do you think you can see us from over here? I think so. Sharks also have small openings on their heads that lead to hearing organs to pick up the low frequency of a wounded animal hundreds of meters away. The vibrations and movements of animals also change the water's pressure, and a shark's sense and touch can detect this. The sensory cells in the lateral line along the side of a shark's body allow the shark to detect change in pressure against its body or the surrounding waters. This allows the shark to hunt in the dark. Who turned out the light? But wait! Sharks need taste to enjoy their prey, but they don't have tongues. Instead, their taste buds are in their mouths to detect the presence of fat in the prey's tissue. Finally, the shark has electroreception to detect the electric field that all living creatures produce. Sodium and chlorine ions separate when introduced to salt water and electricity is transported. The charge of fish cells is different than salt water solutions, and a shark can sense this change in electrical current, including you and me. The fruit fly will use detective pheromones during their elaborate courtship rituals in order to assist the male in identifying the gender and species type of a potential mate. The male fruit fly has special receptors located on his forearms that allow him to identify any potential mate he comes into contact with, which greatly increases his chance of reproducing. The male begins this ritual by approaching a female, tapping her with his forelegs, and singing a song of courtship through rapid wing clapping in order to entice and impress the female. Although snakes lack an outer ear, they still contain a fully functioning inner ear. Because they do not possess an eardrum to convert sound waves into vibrations, they can directly sense vibrations through sand and other surfaces. Snakes feel the vibrations in order to hear the movements of prey. They can also localize the direction in which the prey is coming from. The vibration propagating from the prey is just enough for the predator to strike.